Welcome to these two slideshows on the nature of the current tipping point. I'd like to introduce you to the guides that instructed me and gave me information about this time. These are guides I have worked with for years, some of them over 20 years, others more recent. Gaia has been a constant reference throughout my many years of working with the flower essences. And when I went in deeper in the early part of the 2020, um, 2004 to listen for the Gaia's invitation poems, I felt I was in touch with the spirit of the earth. We call that Gaia. Snake has been a lifelong companion, but mostly through my dreams. And it was only in 2015 when I began the meditations, the 60 meditations that are now a part of the Book of Snake, did my relationship with this life force energy, this primal um, spiritual energy embodied in, in the back of our spine and the totality of our being. Did this energy begin to speak articulately? And Snake was one of the guides that wanted to be included as a voice in, in these writings. Lilith is considered Adam's first wife in the Adam and Eve Garden of Eden story. And I tuned in specifically with Lilith a few years ago when a woman in South Africa was writing a series of blogs about Lilith. And I felt that the writings about Lilith did not fully meet her energy. So I spent three days in communion with Lilith and received the rawness of her energy through my writings. Obviously, in a time like this, Lilith has a lot to say, and she is part of this conversation. Iliadne is a guide that began, introduced herself to me um, early at the beginning of this century. So I have worked consistently with her as a personal guide for almost 20 years. She is the most practical, down to earth, pragmatic, wise counsel that offers me guidance um, about the steps that I take with my personal life, with my work with clients, with my work with webinars and groups of people. And I have always respected that when I follow her counsel, I am in the Tao. So that is Iliadne. Kaliak is a new guide, a relatively new guide. And her, she presented herself to me in a dream several years ago, just her name, Kaliak. And I looked her up this, the spelling was very specific in the dream. And I learned that she is a Celtic wise woman. Um, she relates to winter, to the hag, the, the chrome part of, of our psyche, but also very deeply related to the spirit of stone, earth, place, ecology, and she definitely wanted to be included in this conversation. She Nanaway is again another guide that appeared to me um, about 15 years ago, and she is a gentle, wise, more um, celestial, I hate, hesitate to use that word, but a guide who said that her role with me is to assist in my work with sound. Sound as a healing um, component in not just in a personal um, arena, but in the context of our global experience too. So Shane Annaway has presented herself with um, writings for me about silence, sound, um, in practical ways as well with the ongoing alteration of my background as a musician into another overtone of how to work with sound with myself and with my 
clients. So these are the six guides who communicated to me over this, the number of days that I received the tipping point meditations. So with this brief introduction, I will share the rest of this slideshow where I have taken short um, salient bits of wisdom from the larger writings. Beginning with Gaia, she says, this tipping point is a matter of sustainability. What has been heated so intensely in human activities is simply not sustainable anymore. All my systems are starved and abused and no amount of beckoning on my part has brought the needed rectification. Though you may think that through some tinkering, you can change my course, that is childish, wishful thinking. Do not invest your energies in these self-serving dreams. How to save your skins is the wrong question. How to be with me in this massive rebirth of which you are a part is a much more constructive point of entry. Iliadne. These are precious visioning times in one's life, but not just for personal orientation. How you listen and orient yourself can no longer rely upon the seeming stability of the pillars of your old life. A quantum leap is required. And you cannot do that with conditional expectations or previous expertise. Shinanaway. Unconscious responses to chaos do not help to usher in a creative birth. Gaia is going through a sonic phase shift. Sound is one of the most sensitively tuned ways to coordinate precisely and effectively with this shift. snake. All that has been held separate, aloof, and abandoned is rising swiftly into view. What I represent can no longer be denied. Allegiance to systems that are crumbling is a form of self-sacrifice. The shimmering possibilities and openings in the moment, ones that are brief, ephemeral, and mostly glimpsed through intuition, dreams, heart listening, and body sensation are the more feminine points of entry. These ways are available to any who choose to participate with what is quickening within them. Kaliak. The shifts in the physical earth, the landslides, fires, melting ice, volcanic activity and droughts are messy and unpredictable. Gaia is undergoing a massive cleanse. There is nowhere on earth that is exempt from the effects of her upheavals. No islands 
of safety. Sitting at the bedside of a dying person, the moment becomes heightened, precious, and intense. Holding an attentive presence is one of the most holy acts in these times. This quality of presence serves the birth-death process that is underway. It is literally beyond the human capacity at this point to envision a different earth reality, for it will not look anything like earth's previous ex expressions. I don't know is perhaps the healthiest starting point. A new attitude and etiquette of participation can begin a far more helpful and creative coordination with what is intensely underway and will be for nearly the next 200 years. Lilith, the rugged, ragged steps to reclaim sovereignty of and for the feminine remain one of the most seminal cur currents of this time. Righteous voices have risen through women in the past hundred years or so. They are now beginning to rise in the throats of men as a song from their hearts squeaking into expression. All manner of righteous appearing distortions occur as men begin to open to their feminine natures, yet within them are some of the most critical elements needed for a more fluid participation in this transition. The next slideshow will focus on where and how to invest in hope and for what. And this one is from hope from the standpoint of these six guides.